What's going on guys? It's Shane. We're back here again with another video. Today we're going to be doing another video under the group Project DVT2. This game is called Notaria Canyon. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, it says 2020 version, so this seems to be like an older game. I have never played this before though. Uh, this is totally new to me. So uh, yeah, I want to thank you guys for actually joining that group uh they had under 100 members when we first did that video on it and then after they have now over 200 members so shout out to you guys for joining the group uh actually tuning into the games that i do reviews on so uh shout out to you guys um i know the owner is very grateful so uh and that just i mean that helps me because that gives me certification you know i'm what i'm doing is actually working right so it's kind of the whole reason I make these reviews on these games. So, uh, we've got this old spawner here. Now, it looks like this game only has two buses, the D3RE and the T3RE. Now, we're actually going to drive the D3RE because we haven't drove one of these on the channel in a long time. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and spawn that in, and we're going to walk towards it. This is a fairly big lot. Kind of cool. What is that building over there? servicing bay okay so it's kind of a garage okay you almost can't see the bay doors because it kind of blends in with the actual wall so here's the d3re now i'm not very fascinated with these buses um they're kind of infamous with like the the rear end of the bus they kind of have this curve kind of architecture it looks weird but it's kind of cool um it's got this updated you know, caution, do not pass, stopping sign that kind of lights up. Uh, so I guess this game is based out of Arizona. I wonder if this was that game I was talking about. But no, it's not because that game that I was talking about, um, look at that. That game that I was talking about had like a desert map. It wasn't anything with like green grass. It was like a desert. Uh, look at the windows on this thing. They kind of pop out to me for some reason. Hmm. So it's still got the Deer Valley X there. Not bad. This opens up, doesn't it? Yes, it does. How cool is it? Oh, and it actually has... Wait a minute. Is that the road or is that an actual undercarriage? Let me see. No, that's the road. Yep. Okay, I thought it had like a bottom to it. That would have been pretty cool. Um, So it has a, a, a stop arm or cross arm. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Uh, so here's the thing that's been going around. Uh, a lot of people seem to be thinking that Bluebird uh, and other companies are starting to crack down on Roblox using their logos. Uh, so I'm wondering if that's actually the case. A lot of people think it is. A lot of people think it's not. So we don't really know. Uh, I'm assuming this game is just kind of missing the actual logo there. Uh, I think that's where the logo is supposed to be. I don't know. Yeah, it's missing one on the steering wheel as well. Anyway, it's got the ABC logo there. I guess that's where they used to kind of trademark their buses. I don't know. Here's the Ambers. And the Reds. All right. In fact, I think the last D3RE we actually drove was under American Bus Company. That was a long time ago. So this is a CNG powered bus. Look at that. So I don't know if we'll need fuel or not. I don't think we will. Regardless, this actual video is just going to be about frequently asked questions about Starline. So... Uh, while we tour the map here, I'm going to just kind of answer some questions you guys have been asking about Starline. Starting with the big one, which I announced yesterday, when is, when is the game releasing? Well, the game is releasing August 17th. That's a Saturday. Not this Saturday, but the one after. Um, yes, it's finally coming. I've been working on it for a few months now. So, hopefully, it's ready to release. Here's 
And we're gonna, oh, we're wrong way. Okay. No, we're going the right way. That's just for people that actually try to enter that way. So we got these same apartments here. It looks like they're just kind of a different color. Oh, that's a huge stop. I, I almost said stop sign, but that's a huge speed limit sign. So, um, what you can expect on release is a fully detailed map. And you guys have seen that in, you know, the one video we did showcasing the map and everything. It's, it's very different from your other school bus simulators. Um, so I, I actually am proud of that. I even added some mountains around the edge. So you're kind of just like not looking, uh, you see how these rocks are at the edge. It's kind of like that, but instead of rocks, they're mountains. So you're not just looking at an empty base plate, you know, upon, or across the trees, you know what I mean? I added some mountains, which, which will actually look pretty cool during the winter because they'll be white and kind of snowy. That'll look pretty cool. Um, so yeah, August 17th. Um, what you can expect is the detailed map. Uh, there's going to be a 2018 CE. That's the only bus that's going to be there upon release. I do have another bus. I won't tell you what it is, but it will be released after release. So probably the following update, uh, you'll get a new bus. So, and it is a bus that people have been requesting. So, um, so yeah, you got the bus, the map. Uh, you got a leaderboard, a custom leaderboard, um, or it's, yeah, it's a leaderboard kind of, I don't know. It, you know, you got the whole system with ranking up and stuff. That's kind of something I definitely wanted implemented. Uh, you got a mini map, um, uh, broken rain cycle. That's, that's going to be worked on. So like I said, customization and the rain cycle won't be added just yet. Those are two things I'm going to be be working on um after i release the game so yeah um but yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be fairly okay um for release i think hopefully i did test everything everything seems to be working your stats seem to save and stuff like that you know, with the data store and, you know, so hopefully there won't be any issues there. And I just crashed right into a pole. Yeah, so that you can tell this is an older game. Some of the things aren't scaled properly. What is that, a lighthouse? Yo, what? A lighthouse? So another question, a uh, fairly big question I've been getting is, is the game only going to be on PC? Uh, no, as some of you guys know, Huxley actually has a built in controller support for console players. Uh, their buses kind of work on controllers, I believe. Uh, I don't know if they work on PlayStation controllers, though. That's a question I need to ask because, you know, Roblox actually introduced the Roblox platform to PlayStation. So I don't know if it'll work on PlayStation or not. It'll definitely work for Xbox users. Um... And PC users, so I've already tested all that. It, it works, so console and PC will be able to play on release. Um, that is a huge Panda Express. What is that? No. <laughs> okay, I, I can't give them hate because it is an older game, I know. Um, so mobile players, I've actually looked up a YouTube video. I'm using this model that I found that kind of supports A chassis for mobile users. It works. Um, the bus is drivable, but I've yet to implement it to where the doors will open. So you can't really pick up people. You can drive the bus on mobile. You can join the game. You can drive the bus. You just can't pick people up essentially. So for those of you who actually just like to drive the bus, I've at it. Um, for those of you who want to actually participate in the role-playing aspect you're gonna have to wait a little while because i am still working on that so i do apologize so theoretically speaking all people on all platforms will be able to play the game uh just the mobile users will have to wait uh until i'm able to um 
implement it to where they can actually open the doors on the bus. So that is the big question I've been getting. So there you have it. Hopefully that answered some of your questions. Another question we got is, um, will I have a training department and a route management department? And the answer is no. This isn't going to be your traditional bus company. I'm taking it to a whole different level here. Okay, folks, not really. You've seen this before. Um, so for routes, I'm going to have them either automate every hour or so, or I'm going to make it to where you guys can choose your own routes. There'll be some sort of UI uh, where you can select a route and you kind of follow a navigation system. Kind of like how School Bus Simulator 24 has theirs. I think theirs is still arcadey though. So we're going to try to keep it realistic over here, okay? And that's with all due respect. So, um, yeah, as far as that goes, you know, automated routes. I don't want there to be anybody to have to host a route on their own. You know what I mean? Maybe in the future, maybe in the future, the, you know, the group gets big enough and the game gets populated enough I might implement it to where we probably host a routes that we can all join maybe, you know, two, three times a month or something like that. Um, as far as training goes, there's going to be one game. There isn't going to be a BD or community. Um, so there is no need for training. You know, you don't have to rank up to play a certain game. Um, as far as ranks go, I'm keeping those very limited. I've already had people contacting me about how I should add more ranks to the group. Uh, respectfully, I'm going to add what I want to add. All right. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm keeping it very simplistic off the bat. Okay. There's going to be one rank that everybody gets, and that's like bus driver, I think. Uh, bus operator in my group. Um, if I decide I want a senior bus operator or something like that, why is that going off? Okay. Oh, we're losing gas. No. I knew I knew that sound from summer. Okay, we got a funny gas station right now. Probably have to go back to the lot. I'm going to temporarily blow these stop signs. That sounded... Oh, I got to reword that. Okay. Uh, no, tell me this doesn't actually just lead nowhere. It does. Okay. Um, Hold on, guys. Yeah, so no trainers. No training department. I know a lot of you guys are looking for jobs under my company, but uh, those won't be the jobs. And as we... Okay, I'm sorry. We just screwed ourselves, didn't we? Okay, let's reset real quick. Sorry, guys. I do apologize. Um, yep, no training. No training department. So those that, that was another big question I had was... You know, all that. So, apparently my bus lost gas very quickly. I do apologize for that. Um, but I think once you guys got to see the map, hopefully. I don't know. We'll kind of go to one of those schools over there. Hopefully there's a school somewhere. Um, let me. I'm trying to think of another question you guys have been asking. Take this off again. So I don't know if these games are actually being worked on or not. 20% fuel. Okay, we're definitely going to have to fuel up. I think that's the fuel station over there. Isn't it? No, it's not. Where's the fuel? I think it was... Is it down there? Yeah, it is. I see it. Um... Yeah, no. The biggest question I got was definitely when, when it's releasing, so... Hopefully that knocked a lot of your questions out of the way. I'm hoping. Um, so CNG, diesel, gasoline, CNG. What does CNG even stand for? I have no idea. Are you going to fuel up? Yes, you are. Good. Very good. So I just kind of want to mention that the buses that I'm implementing aren't actually being worked on. They're mainly stock for the most part because um, I don't really do buses. You know, I'm more of a, a builder, a map designer. 
That's why I'm going to make sure my game really revolves around a good map. Um, I know a lot of you guys are mainly interested in the buses. Uh, if it becomes a problem and you guys want to see certain stuff on certain buses, um, that might not be a problem because I'm going to buy, you know, Huxley products in the future. And those products will be added to a customization system that you guys can kind of use to uh, put on your bus. So it, it shouldn't be an issue. Um, like I said, the game's not, buses aren't going to be specced. You know, off of a certain state. So, you're going to basically be able to use what's given to you uh, in the customization options. So, and as far as like what buses I'm going to add, I want to leave that up to you guys in the future. Um, I don't really have a shortage of Robux as of yet so that shouldn't be an issue um adding buses should be fine i know a lot of you guys want um uh handicap buses that's gonna definitely come uh i haven't bought any yet but um those will definitely come uh, i've actually been told that those are outdated and they haven't been worked on so that's kind of why i didn't buy any yet i was gonna buy some when they had their sale but i was like eh, they're not updated so but if you guys really want them i'll buy them So where's the school at? There's one there, I think. And there's that nice lighthouse. Yeah, we're losing gas like crazy. I say gas. Why am I saying gas? I should just be saying fuel. I apologize if I've been saying gas this whole time. Looks like we have something over in this direction. Midwest Bank. Yeah, so these builds are definitely outdated. I think Huxley sells a D3RE, I think. I don't know if they do or not. I'd like to get my hands on one of those. Even though I said I don't like it. It is a very interesting bus, though. Very different. I like The only thing I like on it is the uh, compartment that kind of pulls out and lifts up in the back. That's pretty cool. I was going to do a video on their Fairbanks game. It's just so outdated, though. I joined it, and it's... Not the greatest looking map, so it'd be a quick video if I did do a video on it. Uh, so I decided to just do one on this, so. Because this map is fairly bigger. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I do have a suggestions channel in my Discord for Starline. Um, so if you guys do have suggestions you want added to the game, I know a lot of them are probably going to start rolling in once the game releases. So make sure to make use of that channel. And the Bug Reports channel as well. I did add that. So this is the map. It's not bad. <clears throat> it's funny because my game's actually using these same models of, for the houses. But, I mean, my, my game just looks so much different. You know what I mean? Elementary school. This is an interesting looking school. My goodness. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. Hopefully, I answered some of your questions. I'm going to go ahead and make sure. Uh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I'm not skipping over very many questions once I park up here.
Yeah, scaling was definitely an issue in this game. Look at this. The bus is taller than this building and this, <laughs> this little canopy here, or whatever you want to call it. My goodness. Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and double check some questions really quick on the group wall. And in the Discord and on YouTube. Um, please have CEs. Yep, it's going to have CEs. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I think I pretty much answered some questions. A lot of you guys want handicap buses. Like I said, those are coming as well. Um, do the buses have air brakes? They do. Let me just check my YouTube channel real quick to review any questions on there. Why all these kids get off my bus? Um... Comments. Um, I think I've answered all of them. Yeah, I get so many different questions about different things. It's crazy. Um, somebody asked me to make a Florida spec bus. I don't know how to spec buses, my man. I have no clue. I mean, I know a little bit. That was only ever at NBC, so it was mainly New York buses. So, yeah, I, I think that's it. Hopefully I answered some of your questions. Like I said, game's going to be available for pretty much all devices. So, um, going to be working on that mobile support as well. So, like I said, you can drive the bus. You just can't really open the doors and operate the reds. And no turn signals as well. <laughs> that that all has to be implemented, so I do apologize. But um, console players, PC players, you should be good to go. Um, yeah, regardless. Hope that answers some of your questions. Uh, this was... Uh, let me just pronounce this game again. I actually don't even know what it was called. Notarier Canyon? Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know. I guess it was last updated in 2020. If you guys do wish to check it out yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. Again, thank you for joining their group. Um, their group will be linked in the description again. They're up at 211 members. Mind you, they were down to like 80 members, I think, or when I joined. Now they're at 211, so that's great. So, um, yeah. Uh, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.